Magical Noob is back, this time with the help of our dear friend Rory Khan, who's gonna be bringing you one of the games that we found the most worth playing in the month of July 2016. Taking a simplistic approach in video ball, you shoot triangles at balls. Charge up your shots to shoot bigger triangles that have more strength and push the balls to the enemy goal to score. There's a single player and multiplayer both local and online and it's so easy to learn that makes it a great game for gathering up a few friends and just have fun with each other. Video ball! Hello everyone, what I care to talk about Evolve Stage 2, which is now free on Steam. As you all know, Evolve is a sci-fi multiplayer shooter where four alien hunters go against a huge hungry monster, all player controlled. Stage 2 is not only free, it brings new features and visual improvements. Playing this game with my friends at TGN Squadron gave me a new perspective which I wouldn't have without this update. It's fun to hunt and to be hunted, and you decide which one is who. I recently made a video on Pokemon Go, and in it I heavily criticized its competitive components, which is something that I totally stand by. But casually, this game can be pretty awesome. Walking around in real life catching Pokemon is fulfilling our lifelong fantasy of becoming a Pokemon master in real life, and even if you're not that into the game, it's still something that can be played very casually whenever you take a walk. Because of that, it's a title with a lot of longevity. Just don't take it too seriously, the game doesn't really warrant that. Fury blends hack and slash action with bullet hell. It's a game about learning your abilities and when it's best to use them. Boss fights are complex, with some bosses having more than 6 phases for you to learn and get through, which is a necessity since this is a boss rush game, meaning there's nothing else besides the boss fights and the story. The character design is top notch, the tone of the game feels appropriate and the controls are incredibly responsive. I had fun beating the game once and I'm having a blast bashing my head against its hard mode. Monster Hunter Generations is the latest entry in the Monster Hunter franchise and it implements a lot of new features while at the same time bringing a lot of nostalgic moments to the table. Generations features villages and maps from older entries in the franchise like the original Monster Hunter and Freedom Unite, leading several players and reviewers to refer to it as a Monster Hunter greatest hits. However, nostalgia aside, this title also brings a wide variety of new features like different fighting styles that greatly change the way you approach each fight and devastating new special attacks for each of the weapons. Between the new gameplay opportunities with the different styles that allow you to do crazy things like aerial hammer attacks, the prowler mode that I actually find quite fun to take a break in between regular hunting, and all the nostalgic locations, some of which never released to the west. I personally think Monster Hunter Generations is definitely a game worth playing and it will likely keep you interested for quite a few months. Double that if you play it with friends. And those were the 5 games that we found were the most worthy of being played in the month of July 2016. Which game did you enjoy the most this month? Leave your answer in the comments below, click the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more gaming goodness. We are Magical Noob, and I'll see you next time. Bye!